FIFA 15. Um, I know you've got an early copy of it, you're lucky son of a bitch, so you get there on playing of it. And uh, how's the game feeling compared to FIFA 14? I know uh, as soon as we get the game here, I'm going to be challenging you a game online to see if us Scots can try and compete with the, the you know, Newcastle boys. That, we'll play Newcastle versus Celtic and see who can try and come on top. I know both of them are struggling pretty much, but we'll see what will happen. Well, to be honest, mate, if you played the previous game, obviously uh, one of the things that frustrated me was a bit sloppy. The first touch, very sloppy. Yeah. You had to be so careful when you received the ball. The first touch is in Improved. It's not as much about doing all these ridiculous skill moves as it is more about more realistic pace, yeah. movement, actually spotting the right pass, playing passes along the floor instead of constantly lumping balls over the top, which was really overpowering on the first one. Yeah. Uh, the shooting's changed. I'm still getting the grips with that. A lot of finesse shots, not as many just power dro drills into the bottom corner. Yeah. But I do think it's an improvement. I think most people are going to enjoy the game. But don't expect too much of improvement, but it is a bit more realistic. Yeah, and I, so I watched your video. You can check it out on the True Geordies website um, he had amazing coverage on, the, on the, the ratings and you're absolutely spot on with some of them in there um, some of the ratings and uh, obviously the big one all our fans are talking about I know Jason our producer came out on uh, put his neck on the line and said absolutely Lionel Messi should be the best in the game because Ronaldo is shit that was his words and he was out there and I think he got absolutely crucified <laughs> he got crucified for that so um, but uh, what do you think I mean you can, I think a lot of FIFA has been took on the World Cup fair enough Ronaldo didn't have the best of World Cups but I mean the guy's performance performance in the season before, Champions League and all, is unquestionable, he's amazing out there. So you think it was a fair assumption to put uh, Lionel Messi just that one rating ahead of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo? Uh, at least. At le I know Cristiano Ronaldo isn't the poster boy and he's not getting that AA of FIFA yeah. money like Messi is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But let's face it, right? Messi, last season, didn't score as many goals as Ronaldo. Yeah. You, he didn't get the Ballon d'Or last season. He didn't get the Champions League player of the season. He didn't get the Champions League record golden boot last season. Yeah. He didn't do anything that special in the World Cup himself. Ronaldo was injured for the World Cup. So if you really want a fair assessment, judge them last season yeah. on who had the better season. Ronaldo. Now, who is the better player overall is a different question altogether. Yeah. We talk all day about that. Yeah. But for me, I look at Ronaldo's season last season and he was better than Messi so that the bare minimum you've got to have at least level yeah, absolutely. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's an absolutely fair assumption. I think that Ronaldo got a lot of harsh scrutiny. I mean, when you're running around the field with the likes of Nani to work with you in the World Cup compared to Messi, who's got the likes of Lavezzi and Aguero and like just uh, players in Mascherano, guys in there that are just Di Maria, even just world class players. I think Ronaldo got a lot of harsh scrutiny. People still put Portugal on this pedestal as a team that should compete when they're absolutely guff, apart from Ronaldo and maybe Pepe when he's not going around kicking people. So I think that in, the, uh, that, in that aspect, I think you're absolutely right right the game itself um, I can't actually wait to play it but um, that's what I appreciate I appreciate you being out there telling the truth about um, what should actually be done in FIFA and we're going to be playing a matchup definitely TYT Sports versus the True Geordie uh, I'll have to be the representative from TYT Sports absolutely because Jason is currently on a 27 to zero run against me he is not beating me at FIFA 14 <laughs> and I'm getting <laughs> um, and I think that's another thing people underestimate I think if you know the game and if you play it like you've played it and you just watch it weekend week out I think that definitely increases how good you are at FIFA because you know the runs that should be made and you know how to play it whereas if you're coming in you've not really played the game Jason I remember wandered in he went Colombia when he played me when I, during the World Cup and he never even put James Rodriguez on the field I was like, what, what are you doing? He's sitting out yeah, there. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just hard, but I definitely think it'll be a great matchup if we play against each other on there and show the fans with ourselves. Yeah, Celtic. I'd love to. I, I'm happy to beat you any time you want, mate. <laughs> you just name the time and place. We'll go Celtic Newcastle, but I don't know how much, I don't know how good a game that'll be for the neutrals out there. It'll be both teams are struggling a little bit, so it'll be dire. <laughs> a lot of long balls on that one, mate. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, abs this is, as always, this is uh, the true Jordi joining us at TYT Sports. Absolutely fantastic to have you here. It's been great talking the truth, unlike what you maybe get on your mainstream channel. We are authentic. Both channels really working well together. Uh, make sure to stay tuned. Follow True Jordi uh, on Twitter. Check out his channel, TYT Sports Francis Maxwell. Thank you again.